for all the expats out there who only know contemporary and modern art through the galleries around the city and some of the museums as well, you're missing out because here at V64, you can come and see the artists in action in their own space, creating those arcs of work that you just love to see. We'll talk more about with one of the directors here and take a look at some of these studios as well. Today I'm with Kun Kitty Narod, who is one of the artists and one of the directors here at V64. สวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ. Well, I have to say, when I first came in here, you yes. can tell it's a community of artists. Yes. Very, very good. Yes. What was the inspiration to build this? Uh, we think is that the artist should be uh, the seriously work as a for the artist should have the space for working, and we. Uh, we have experience from our outside Thailand, and uh, we see it's uh, many countries they have com community of art. We want to make that in Thailand. It's a uh, we just me, it mean me and uh, the other friend, the group of the artists, we just share the money and lend the space and building art studio like this. Yes. Well, looking inside, how many artists have you been able to come together here? Now we got uh, 70. I think it's 70 artists we got now. Well, quite a lot. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Now, it's all different type kinds of art, or it's, it's for the contemporary art? Yeah, it's uh, quite contemporary, but we have a variety of art here. Wide variety yes, also. Yes. What, what's the benefit to the artists from having to be, be able to work together like this? Uh, I think it's good. We have to uh, share the ideas sometimes. Uh, we critic uh, their art sometimes and share inspiration. It's uh, good. It uh, make a lot of inspiration for share mm. uh, for the order, yes. You mentioned that you had some experience to show your art yes. outside of Thailand. Yes. When you see the art in the other country, yes. and you come back to Thailand and you look at what, what we can do here, yes. how do you think Thailand compares? I think it's a Thai artist, especially Thai young artists, they have the quality, the same what they got in the, in the, Western, in the Western culture and in the other. Uh, country in Asia, we, uh, they have really, really good. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, uh, the value, what the mm. same, and uh, we should uh, find something to support the artist. Is the reason why we're making here. Well, just looking at the structure, yeah. obviously to have over 70 artists here, you must have a very large building. Yes. What used to be here? It used to be as a own warehouse. It's a very, very own warehouse. We just leave building, just finish. Uh, I think it's uh, before the fight last year, yes. So it's great that you're able to take a, a space like that and to recreate it into a creative center. Yeah. What, what's, what's your hope by, by having this here? Uh, I really, really hope when people talk about art in Thailand, in Bangkok, they should think about our name. It's a V64, it's a, should be the, the first name when they're thinking about the contemporary art in Bangkok. Yes. Well, we've talked a lot about it. Yes. I'm sure everyone who's watching the show would really like to look inside some okay. of these studios. So, if can we take a look? Okay. Excellent. Okay. Thanks. They are the artists here, and uh, they, uh, this gallery for show is in some time in. They need some space for show their work. In, if they show they in studio, it will be a bit mess. And if you show the Cali, like it is more clean and clear. Mm, and, and the lighting is yes. a little better for them. And yes. So these are all from the different artists yes, here. Yes. Yes. Wow. And sometimes we have the artists from outside want to show their work here too. You mentioned that you have so many different. I, you know, I see paintings, charcoal, uh, acrylic, yes. oil, sculpture. Yes. Even some, you know, uh, mixed media as well. Yes, this is I did this piece is quite interesting. You see, this guy just had the contact with the Hong Kong uh, one in Hong Kong gallery. He said, when he love his artwork, he said. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kind of a, a, mix, a mixed, mixed media, media showing yes. different different things, different parts of life, and yeah, and it's a quite new media to make the. I cannot remember what they call. It. They call door art or something as a oh. mixed media. It's a really pop culture. Love to do that. Well, in, in each of the, the studios, so you're able to provide a, a, 
a permanent space yes. for each of the artists to be able to put up. Some of them, I, th I think, I can imagine, have very large, large paintings yeah, or large yeah. sculptures. They can't, yeah, they cannot <laughs> imagine it. <laughs> if, if people want to come, you mentioned that it's open to the public. Yeah, we're open to the public. Ah, and so if I can come here, if I see a, a piece of art, yeah. I notice on some of this artwork also have the price. I mean, I can buy directly from here. Yes, you can buy directly mm -hmm. from the artist. If you, uh, uh, sometimes when you see the artist coming to work in here, you buy directly from the artist. Mm -hmm. yeah, and if you don't see the artist, you just contact the office. Contact they can, the office. They can make that for you. Now, are you open every day? Yeah, we open every day. Every day. Yeah. But we can call, we can call beforehand. It's better, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, let's, let's take a look at some of the, the artist spaces. Yes. I'm sure it would be very interesting. Yes. Oh, definitely, you've got some very large pieces here. Yes, yes. It's a, it's a portrait of the, of, of the artist girlfriend. Oh. Yes. Now, you know, looking around, I, I can imagine that you, you mentioned you're trying to build a community of artists yes. here. Do you also try to uh, interact with the community around your art? Yeah, we do. We, we uh, like uh, the kids allow this area, we teach them art for free oh. every Sunday. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes. Because then they can come and they can see art and they can also learn yeah, as well. Yeah, because I would love to uh, make a Thai people, especially Thai kids, understand contemporary art. Mm. Yes. So now we're coming to some of the, the actual studios. Yes, yes. So every artist or you know, a couple of artists you know, get, get a nice space for themselves to yes. paint, to sculpt. Yes. Wow. This is a master of drawing. He really <laughs> skillful of the drawing. <laughs> Actually, I, I think looking at the art where the artist created yeah. also look, can look very good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because it's like a natural, natural setting. Yes. If, if I'm uh, interested in some of the art or I like the artist's style, yes. can I also uh, maybe commission, uh, hire the artist to maybe make a, a portrait or something? They do that. Or they can time. do that. Yes. Yes. Ah. Just walking through this warehouse, you can see there's so many artists in here. Yes. Uh, how many different studios are, are in this, this one building? In this building, we have three zones. We call zone A, B, C. Uh, totally, uh, I think it's allowed to empty. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> well, I know, you know, just looking at some of these, you know, yeah, this the work is, of the artists, yes. is very large, very yeah. large. Well, uh, you mentioned you we're going to see yeah. some artwork by one of the, the female artists. Yeah, he's uh, really proud to show her work. It's wow. a coming. It's uh, not too much feminist, but it's, uh, you can, you can feel what a uh, contemporary woman, mm. I mean, it's uh, many nations, what they think. They think they have to carry something all the time to be the woman. It's like you, there's so many different things of, for the inspiration and in, in, in looking at the, the folds of the fabric and the facial yes. expressions. Yes. Are, are all the artists here? Are they all from around Bangkok or do they come from around the country or maybe from other countries? Yeah, we have a, uh, a few artists come from the other country. Yeah, we have come from uh, uh, Wales, UK, and one Italy and one is, uh, I cannot remember the country, from Latin America. Mm. Wow. Well, it's great that everyone can come together and share all their different, yes. all different styles, their inspirations as well. I, I see what you mean, you know, in dividing into the different zones, there's some different styles, some, some different mediums. Yes. You can see some more sculpture here, some mixed media as well. Yes. Are you also working to have some of the artists here try to help them show outside the country as well? Yeah, we do. We, do. Uh, we have uh, some connection with the uh, uh, Korea Gallery and Netherlands Art Fair. They, they, uh, last month they came to collect the artists uh, who who are the interesting. As an artist yourself, yes. 
what kind of process do you go to when you're creating a work? Do you create a sketch or do you just start painting and let it flow? It's different. It's uh, sometimes yeah. I just when I really want to paint something, just start paint and finish. It's sometimes I waiting for the idea really clearly. I have to sketch, sketch, sketch. Okay, when I got the clearly idea, just making that. It, yeah, I, we do we do many things like that. <laughs> yes. I, I know for uh, you know especially for a lot of people watching, uh, especially when we're we're in school still uh, maybe for the art student yes. a lot of our parents are like oh, oh you, there's no career you yeah. how you earn the living you know yeah. being an artist what do you say to to young young younger people who say I want to be an artist for yeah. my life I think it's not now is a uh, the artist will be everything uh, the, I mean the art is uh, everything in your life it's, uh, you clothes you make up you music is a uh, if you understand art, you will understand every subject in the world. I mean, yes. Uh, if you, when you understand art, when you work in every uh, kind of work, I don't know what it's called. It's, uh, you will more understand everything. a lot of the inspiration comes from everyday life and yes. I look at this and I think to myself oh it's a street vendor selling the the squid the dried squid yeah it's a make from ceramic here uh, yeah in this city she the artist a woman she inspiration from state uh, food become to art well it really seems you have all the facilities here you know I I see you know spaces for artists for, for the painters bronzes even have a kiln for yes. for the ceramics are you looking to to expand in the future? Yeah, we uh, we try to get one of the what you call that for the printing. Oh, a printing press. Yes, oh. yes. Yeah, it's, uh, it will be completely. Oh, excellent. Well, I, for everyone who's watching, you probably really want to know where are we? How can you come here? And how can you get in contact? Yes. Do you have a website we can talk? Yeah, we have the website and we have the Facebook and you can call us. Yes. And we'll have that website up on the screen for you. It's www.v64artstudio.com. Uh, uh, Excellent. Well, thank you very much thank for you. showing us around that this is a great space. Once again, thank you. Uh, it's artist community. People can come here. Yes, yes. Look around, get inspiration, and you can also buy. Well, very important, you can buy directly from yes, the artist. Yes. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. Kopen 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 K